Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at definitely the fullest and probably the coolest box, subscription box, I've ever seen. And the biggest. This is from Steel to Real. So before we get into this box, uh, again, this is from Steel to Real. They did send me this box, um, but as you know, you know wh whether I get something for free or pay for it, it does not affect how I review it. This is definitely the coolest box I've ever seen. I've reviewed some good, uh, some some good subscription boxes, and this is definitely the most jam-packed uh, one that I've seen. This is their quarterly box. Um, their quarterly box is either four individual installments of. $399 or a total year one year installment for $349 a quarter. Um, and I really think that this thing's worth it. It's got a ton of good stuff in it. Enough talking about it. Let's get down into the box. Alright, so uh, I actually had to do this out in the field, get out one of the outdoor tables because I don't have a table, I don't have a review table at home big enough to show you everything that's in here. It comes in this box, big box. And I'm going to first lay out all of the stuff, all of the stuff that comes in it. So this is everything that is in this box there's so much cool stuff in here let's go through it one by one all right so i want i want to say real quick that if you hear other voices other people talking there's a bunch of people out here with me and i'm kind of stepping off to the side in order to make this review for you so let's start with this right here the endor ender i'm not sure how to pronounce it uh survival bag emergency survival bag reflex body heat water and wind resistant compact and lightweight 36 by 84 inches this thing's huge and so it is something that you can lay in and it appears to be one of the mylar type bags so that is a cool survival item and uh, let's see if it has a weight on here it does not have a weight on here but i'm sure you can find that online Next is this survival card. This is the survival card. It's got hooks and saws and, and all the different stuff. It's got directions on how to how to set it up. It's got all the little fishing hooks and things like that. You guys have probably seen these before. Cool little item. EDC CLP, clean lube and protect. CLP, gun lube. This can be for a number of things, for your knives, for, for uh, uh, anything that needs a lube. But CLP is always a, definitely a cool thing to have. Combat wipes, active, outdoor cleansing and refreshing wipes. Uh, these are something if you've ever done any amount of camping, you know are worth their weight in gold. Um, you peel this off, it'll come out of this little hole here. But uh, they're 100% biodegradable and there are 25 of them in there. Each one is 18 by 21 centimeter or seven inches by eight. Uh, so good size, uh, biodegradable wipes. You don't have to worry about leaving them where you camped. So this little guy is by Tacware. This is a flashlight with a diffuser that you can put over the end, but that diffuser also, you're not gonna be able to see it because it's too light out, but that, that diffuser glows in the dark once you turn the light on. Cool little pocket item, something to throw in a backpack, even something to throw in a glove box, um, but uh, this, is, this would definitely be a decent little uh, EDC light as well as something for camping and hiking and survival. Got a nice schmag here, a little schmaggy. Uh, got the directions on how to tie it on the back. This CamCon company has a whole bunch of different ones. This is the gray one with stars on it. And it is 44 by 44 inches, which I think is a pretty standard size, 100% cotton, retains heat in the cold and absorbs sweat in hot conditions. One thing I love about these things, um, especially for camping and hot days, 
even cold days, but it, but for especially for hot days, you get this thing a little damp, put it over your head. It's like a swamp cooler. Really keeps you cool. Love a good schmog. Climate Static V. This is a blow up air mattress for your uh, camping sleeping mattress. It's not very heavy. It is 18 ounces, 18.7 ounces. Um, it is six foot long by two foot wide, 72 by 23 inches. So 23 inches wide, 72 inches long. Pretty much anybody's going to fit on there. Uh, 75D polyester fabric. Soft and quiet, raised V chambers, maximize loft and warmth, uh, creating comfortable loft pockets that support the body's pressure points. Uh, side rails make it easy to stay on the pad through the night so you don't roll off the pad. Uh, inflation is fast and easy, compatible with rapid air pump uh, with a patch kit included. And of course, once you deflate it, you can put it back in this bag and put it right in your backpack. Lightning Flame. This is says America's premier fire starter, Camper Special. Contents will start up to 48 fires. Campfires, wood stoves, fire pits, fireplaces, uh, pallet stoves. One match, one fire, guaranteed, it says. And this is basically like fat wood chips, from what I can tell. It's essentially fat wood chips. So uh, this is a cool item. You don't have to put this whole thing in your backpack, but if you're going backpacking, maybe you take a little bit of this, put it in a sandwich bag to put in your pack for the weekend or for you know, however long you're going to be out. Um, anything that helps you start a fire, fire is life. Anything that helps you start a fire uh, absolutely is invaluable. Getting into some of the bigger items here. The Gerber Gator Machete Jr. These are nice machetes. I've seen them and used them before. Uh, it has a good sheath. Gerber makes good products. Uh, they are usually very well made and quality products. Uh, it's gonna be a rubberized handle. These are nice and sharp. I have, like I said, I have played with these before. These are nice and sharp. And the saw actually works pretty good on them as well. This is something I think that deserves a little bit closer look. Of course, it has this light warning label on it, but that thing, that thing's pretty sharp. Um, decent saw blade. You can see that it's kind of a cross cut, that the teeth are like that. Rubberized handle. It's actually bolted in place here. Lanyard for your wrist if that's what you choose. A good, good area for your forefinger, for your index finger, and your thumb so that they don't slip off into this. Yeah, this is just a nice, this is a nice tool. Now the last two things here and here are from my medic. So I'm gonna clear all the rest of the stuff out and because it's gonna take the entire table just to show you the rest of the stuff. All right, so let's start with this. This is the Stormproof, Stormproof uh, Moto Medic, the Moto Medic and the Stormproof case. Um, this is much like a dry bag, made like a dry bag, um, with a basically sealed zipper here, uh, rubbery outside, and has little molly or loops that you can, you know, lash this to backpacks and maybe to some gear or whatever. And this thing is full. Holy cow, is it full of stuff. All right, so let's start in here. First of all, the case itself, you can, you can take these pouches and place them wherever you want in the case. It has Velcro backing, and uh, you know if you want a different one on top, you can do that however it is that you want to set it up. So let's start with this one. Uh, and then it has these patches on it that tell you what's in it. So we have a small pair of first aid scissors and some boo-boo kits. Allergies, headache, upset stomach, cold and flu. These are all little medicine kits uh, that has, let's see if this will tell me what's in there. So like this one has two, two of something that I can't pronounce. Uh, two hydrocortisone cream, two I or four ibuprofen, uh, two loratine, loratidin, um, antihistamine, eye drops, right? So this is like allergies, headache, 
ibuprofen, pain reliever, things like that. So that's everything that is in that pouch. In this pouch, you have, let's see, lip balm, lip guard, sunscreen, other types of, looks like other types of burn shield, burn gel, things like that. So this is, has the burn and the, the lotion, whatever, on it. CPR shield. Chem light. NPA, a seven millimeter NPA, nasal pharyngeal airway. Sodium chloride and a pen light and tweezers. Rats tourniquet, appears to be a red one, yep. Rats tourniquet, I love rats tourniquets. They work very well, don't let the internet tell you otherwise. So much stuff just spilling out of this. Electrolytes, or is that energy? Effervescent tablets, hydration, yep, hydration, electrolytes, antiseptic towels, Sting relief. Rape whistle or emergency whistle. Band-aids, rubber gloves, rubber gloves. Bandage. So this has four one by three, two two by four, two fingertip bandages, two knuckle bandages, two knee and elbow bandages. Micromen Cut Kit. Emergency Blanket. Gauze. Anti Chafe Cream. More rolled gauze. All in this really nice bag. So far, it's all of that. that to go all right so that was the that was the my medic moto medic kit in this stormproof uh bag or stormproof uh pouch uh this is i believe on my medic like a 150 dollar kit uh alone uh, i've already added up all this stuff and it is worth is valued uh higher than the 349 that you can get it for uh with your yearly subscription uh, this is the My Medic 10 Essentials Kit. Uh, everything is in here, we're gonna go through. But to start with, we're gonna start with the container that it comes with, and that is this really nice dry bag. Uh, if you've never used a dry bag, you don't know what you're missing, especially if you live in a wet environment. But dry bags are great. You put your stuff in here that you want. You put it in, you fold it over a few times and then fold it up over and seal it up. It has a valve on it, release valve, because if you unscrew that, you can collapse the bag down on whatever you have in there. Or if you have it screwed tight, when you do do do, and you need to use this as A floaty. It'll hold hold air and you can use it as a floaty to save your life in a river or wherever you're at. So in and of itself, the dry bag is a life-saving device. 
Um, and then when you have the stuff close, whatever else doesn't need to be cold, doesn't need to be wet, uh, this is the way to go. This is a nice bag, very heavy mill, feels like a very heavy mill. All the seams seem to be welded, grid, welded well and uh, glued down well, has a side pocket here, has what I call a map pocket here, has a little bit of uh, a loop there that you can lash stuff to, has the pressure release valve, and another thing here. You can also carry it as a backpack, has good padding on the back here, padded straps, uh, all adjustable, things like that. So just to start with, this dry bag is awesome. That doesn't even include everything that goes in it. All right, so we're gonna get into this now. This is all of the contents of the 10 Essentials Kit from my medic right here. Now the 10 Essentials Kit, I believe is right around the $250 mark uh, from my medic. So let's dig all of these different kits out. So you can choose to use these kits. They're, they're labeled and Ziploc kits. You can choose to use them or dump everything loose into the bag. Let's start with this kit. This kit is the Sun Protection Shelter and Clothes Kit. Super Bivy. Oop, let's get it in the camera here. Super Bivy, uh, 3.8 ounces. It's a bivy sack, uh, bivy bag for you to sleep in. Next, we have some high biz. High biz rubber uh, weatherproof gloves. These are very these are rubbery with grip palms. They also have some insulation purpose, so these would be great, especially in the cold. High biz, because of course, if you're lost, they can be used as a uh, as a signaling device. Put them on a stick, wave them around the air, things like that. Uh, My medic beanie. Uh, I read about this beanie. Apparently the fabric has a reflective quality, so that works well as well if, if you're in a search and rescue situation. But it is a knit beanie. Um, nice, comfortable. Uh, I say nice and comfortable because I actually have one of these uh, that's not in a package. A pair of sunglasses. Now I would admit these are not like, these are not Oakley's, but they are polarized. They are polarized sunglasses. And if you ever wanted to be a blues brother, now's your opportunity. These are a, blend, a wool blend sock uh, from my medic, has some first aid tips um, or on how to use these. Pressure bandage. Uh, Low-grade water filter, backup gloves, reusable toilet paper. And uh, yeah, if you've never had to use your socks for this toilet paper, um, you have lived a better life than some of us. <laughs> okay, two hand warmers and a giant poncho. And it's a Mylar poncho and it can be used as a shelter as well, 50 by 80. So this one next, which is water and food. Just so much stuff. So much stuff. I can just cannot believe how much stuff is in this in this pack. Start here. Uh, this is a water bottle. You know, like a collapsible collapsible water bottle. Four bags of emergency water. A, I think this is 400, 410 calorie emergency like power bar. That one's apricot flavored. And here's a emergency food ration block that is 400 calories per serving and this is three servings. So a total of 1,600 calories of food there. A 
and a life straw. Water filtration. So that is the water and food bag. Too much stuff, I don't have enough room on a giant table. All right, moving over here, let's go to, let's go to, get in the camera here, fire, light source, navigation. Okay, starting with one, two, two, Instafire. Feel like uh, granules. Instafire granules. Ah. Whew. Solar headlamp. This thing is pretty darn neat. I also have one of these that is not in this package, but so it comes with the strap in there charging cord in case you want to charge it not not by solar and the headlamp itself this thing is massive and you can also like molly it to your chest or a backpack or something like that uh, you can see where all these these hooks are around the back of it solar panel it's all adjustable let's see if there's any charge to it there is a little bit of a charge to it high low strobe emergency matches windproof stormproof matches this feels like the compass there is a compass folding compass in here and it is this is a compass and it has a signal mirror of course all the protective tape is over it right now but um the compass appears to be correct. I know where I'm at right now. And the compass appears to be correct. And another chem light. This is called a super, super chem light. Glows for up to 30 hours. Oh, it looks like I forgot something. There's some aqua tabs here. I missed that in one of the bags. Some, uh, uh, water purification tabs and this is <coughs> first aid and tools let's start with I don't know a black box this is the multi-tool probably going to be yep it's a very basic multi-tool I'm gonna say it is as good or better than like the Ozark trail ones um, Chinese made the blade could use sharpened but um, it's better than nothing uh, so many people do not have multi-tools in their daily preps in their vehicles there's sh you should have multiple multi-tools hiker medic kit this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. This has sunscreen, lip balm, burn gel, alcohol wipes, fabric bandage one by three, fabric bandage two by four, gauze pad four by four, super skin blister strip, two triple antibiotic ointments, one whistle, two electrolytes, two sting and bite relief, one emergency blanket, 20 foot of 550 paracord, ibuprofen, Benadryl, and water purification tablets. So, you know, you are, with this kit, you are doubling and tripling up on some very important items when it comes to not only health, but water purification, things like that. Emergency pressure bandage. The massive wet wipe. The massive wet wipe is two foot by one foot. First aid and survival guide. I have one of these from my medic, and there's actually a lot of really good stuff. High visibility, quality pictures. Everything is described very well. How to skin game, how to read a topo map, how to build shelters, how to perform first aid, all kinds of stuff in this little book. And another space blanket. All right, guys. 
this is everything you get. What's a quarter? It's like, holy cow. There's it's too much stuff to put in frame. I mean, I have to like be out of frame and just stick my head in here. And to top it all off, all this will fit with the exception of, you know, the big jug of this. All of this will fit on an individual scale into your MyMedic 10 Essentials Kit. When you put this stuff in loose, it takes up not quite half of the bag, which leaves you enough room for a bunch of this other stuff and like your own change of clothes, extra socks, things that you want to put in there yourself. All right, guys, so there it is. It's the, it's, it's, it's the Steel to Real Club. This is their quarterly, I think it's called Elite, their quarterly box. It's $349 of every quarter if you pay a year at a time. It's $399 if you pay, uh, if you pay quarterly. Uh, if you use RTT20, you get 20% off all of this and more. They've sent me some of this, they've sent me some links to some of the stuff in future boxes and I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but there's some really cool stuff when it comes to blades and, and, and hatchets and whatnot that's uh, coming out pretty soon. That's all I'm gonna tell you. But uh, just such a packed box. I've been, in, I've been in awe of it ever since I, ever since I received it. I, I almost didn't even know how to review it. It's just such a long video, but there's so much stuff in there. Uh, with the with the ten essentials kit, the my moto, uh, the moto medic kit, all the stuff, the Gerber, the the fire starter stuff, all the medical stuff, all the survival stuff, and water purification and everything. Really, a complete kit. Something that uh, something that if you have a survivalist in the family, somebody that's even just getting started into it, and you want to buy them a handful of kits over a couple year period of time, uh, these are kits that I can absolutely see somebody getting. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want more videos from me. I don't know if no YouTube will actually notify you, but hey, it's worth a try. Leave a comment down below. Help me beat that YouTube algorithm that is pushing channels like mine down. If you want to support the channel, patreon.com. There's a link for it down below. I have three, five, and $10 tiers. You get a little bit extra when you do that. And uh, also, you can hit up the website, rttgunsgear.com for uh, the affiliate links. There's a whole bunch of affiliate stuff uh, that if you buy through those companies, it costs you nothing extra, but it does help out the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.